Uh, welcome, everyone. And you know, I'm here mainly today to provoke you all. You know, we've all been doing great work, but the question is, you know, is that all making the web faster? So, you know, let's let's take a look at the data. Uh, I'm going to talk about three different things today. Uh, first, how fast are the networks uh, getting? You know, over the last few years, the core network infrastructure. You know, is it actually making the internet uh, faster? Uh, the second thing I'm going to talk about is uh, the improvement in the browsers. Uh, how faster have the browsers gotten over the last few years? And finally, as I said, you know, I'm going to take a look at whether uh, those improvements in the networks and the browsers are actually translating into real speed improvements on the web. So I'll start with looking at the network data. Uh, this data is from Akamai State of the Internet uh, report. And it shows that the connection speeds uh, have been going up dramatically over the last few years. In fact, you know, this data shows a five-year trend. And it appears that the connection speeds, these are peak connection speeds, they've gone up almost three times. Uh, the, the data for US shows that we are actually at 30 megabits per second. Now, this is not the, the connection speeds that you would experience every day, every time. These are, these are the peak speeds. This, this is what your connection is capable of. But nevertheless, you know, this, is, you know, this is a big improvement in how fast the core network technology is. And I looked at you know, a lot of other data sources as well, not just Akamai. Uh, I looked at the YouTube video download speeds, you know, looked at speed test uh, data. And while in absolute terms, you know, they will all report you know, different things because of like, how they measure the speed. But the relative improvement over the past few years, you know, that's a constant thing. You know, everybody reports at least a 2x improvement over the last few years. But you know, uh, you know, I've you know, I noticed this many times. You know, when I share this data with anyone, that you know, bandwidth is what is not what really matters for the speed of the web. It's all about the round trip time, the latency. Um, even there, we have good news. Um, this data is from a FCC study uh, for the state of the broadband in the United States. Um, it shows the last mile round trip time uh, for different broadband uh, medium types. Uh, and you can see from here that the latest technology, the fiber to the home, um, is actually uh, much faster. It's, you know, typically you know, only half of the latency of DSL or cable. And of course, you know, with the latest fiber installs, like Google Fiber, you know, we're really, really making things you know, much faster. Google Fiber last mile latency is only about four milliseconds. On mobile, you know, things are actually even, even better. Uh, the LTE networks are, I, I don't even know like how many times, because you know, I never really you know, looked at the data for how fast 2G or 3G networks was. I, all I know was that they were really, really slow. And LTE, you know, you know, for me, for example, I use a Chrome Pixel, and my connection on my Chromebook is actually faster than my home cable connection. Um, so, I mean, this is really, I mean, this is a huge improvement in the physical infrastructure of the web. Today in US, almost all of, our, all of the population, um, close to like more than 80%, have access to LTE networks. Um, the actual um, penetration is still only about 10%, and Many people say that you know, it's just because LTE networks are not uh, as loaded as they would be in the future, this you know, huge speed is a temporary phenom phenomenon. But I don't think that's the case. You know, the, the networks are going to remain fast uh, over time. So that's all good news on the, uh, on the network front. Uh, what about on the browsers? Um, how fast are the browsers getting over time? So I have some data here about Chrome. Uh, when we launched Chrome about five years back, it was September 2008, uh, its JavaScript performance was uh, 20 times uh, fast, faster than the comparable JavaScript engines at that time. And since then, every year, we made huge improvements to, to the speed of the JavaScript uh, execution engine. Uh, just in the last year itself, uh, we made a 24% improvement on, on you know, on, on the Octane JavaScript benchmark for, for Chrome on the desktop, and a 57% improvement on the mobile platform. 
Um, that's just one part of the browser performance. Uh, JavaScript execution obviously is very key, but it's only one, one element. Um, and the browsers are really, really fast on that front. You know, the browsers have done a lot of other things you know, along different dimensions. For example, there is support for new image formats which are more efficient. Uh, the browsers are actually more intelligent today. They do a lot of predictive actions to, to make performance better. Uh, overall, I would say, again, you know, the browsers have come a long way uh, in the last five years. So, uh, so those are all good news, but there's you know, some challenges. I think most of the challenge is actually you know, us, you know, the developers here in the room. Um, this is data from HTTP archive, which shows that you know, over, the, over the last, uh, well, I guess this is one year data, but it shows how the size of the web pages you know, keeps going up uh, every month. Uh, Today, an average web page uh, size is about 1.5 megabytes. I mean, that's huge. I mean, that's really, you know, it was hard to imagine, you know, 10 years ago, it, you know, if, if a page would have 1.5 megabytes, you know, it just won't load on, um, on a browser. So, uh, so that's one big challenge. Uh, the number of resources on the page also keeps going up. You know, it's at 91 now uh, for this particular set of sites that HTTP archive um, monitors. Um, and, you know, there's, Increase in the size of the content and the number of resources obviously makes it hard to load these pages fast uh, in the browser. So the question is, who is winning? You know, is you know the developers you know who keep making pages bigger, or the infrastructure people who are actually making you know big improvements in the core technology of the web um, to make things fast? The good thing is that we actually now can measure this uh, in a very meaningful way, I think for the first time. Uh, thanks, for, thanks to all the work um, done by W3C and navigation timing, now there's a standard way for us to measure the speed of a web page from all the major browsers. Uh, we make use of that technology uh, in, in Google Analytics, where we measure the speed of millions of websites uh, across the world and billions of page views. And I'm gonna show you some data from the Google Analytics site speed feature. So this, these charts show the data for 2012 uh, and 2013. And as you would notice from here, um, well, this is actually 2012, sorry. So it shows that the median page load time on desktop is 2.7 seconds, and on mobile it was 4.8 uh, in 2012. Uh, in 2013, the, the numbers are better. On mobile, there's a significant improvement in speeds. Uh, mobile is 30% faster now compared to uh, last year. Desktop is marginally faster. It's only about 5.7%. Um, you know, it, it, so, you know, it's still good news in my opinion. You know, we, there, there were more infrastructure improvements, so the, you know, the actual performance should have, should have been better than 5.7%, but, you know, uh, 5.7 is also something I would take. Uh, on mobile, the improvements are better, I think, you know, for two big reasons. One, the improvements in the networks is, is more dramatic than on desktop. And second, also many large websites now focus on building good mobile websites, you know, which have less content, for example. So that has resulted in this big improvement. We have another uh, interesting data source uh, from Chrome. So Chrome, for opted-in users, we collect uh, the median page load time data for all the sites in the world. And that shows similar uh, trend in the, in the performance. Uh, uh, over the last one year, there's about 6% improvement uh, on desktop uh, based on Chrome data. So, so, so the takeaway from this, you know, I feel uh, the infrastructure people are doing great work. Uh, the internet keeps getting better every year, and the web developers, you know, are sort of you know fighting that, you know, by actually keep you know making pages more and more com you know complicated. It's actually good because the pages get uh, richer, and you know, there's more functionality on it. But I, I you know, I, I you know, it almost seems to me that people have this fixed time budget and they will keep adding features uh, to the page as long as they can meet that uh, budget, you know, say it's you know, three seconds. And I think we need to change that. You know, it will be really nice to figure out what it is going to take to actually get to those one second page load times that we've all, all been dreaming of. That's all I have. Thank you, thank you so much.